Hello students, welcome to today's session. In today's class, we will going to discuss about image morphological processing. Okay, so we will study each each and every concept step by step. First of all, we will see what is morphology. So morphology, it is a biological term. Okay, it is a branch of biology that that is related to form and structure of plants and animals okay like uh, what is the shape and what is the structure of different plants and animals okay so we use this morphological uh, uh, concept in maths okay so mathematic mathematical morphology it is a tool for extracting the image processing components to be used in representation and description of images okay so we can describe uh, image boundaries image skeleton and convex shell okay using this image morphology tool set okay students then uh, image morphology techniques will be used for filtering thinning pruning okay different uh, sorts of image processing techniques so let's have a quick uh, preview of uh, this uh, mathematical morphology so it is basically based on set theory we have studied set theory in our uh, elementary maths of our school syllabus okay so sets in mathematical morphology represents object in image okay so any gray scale image contains several objects okay that object has variable gray gray level intensities okay so for uh, all the black pixels in the image uh, it will give uh, is the complete morphological different description of the image okay so in binary in binary image there are only two colors black and white okay so all the black pixels is the complete dis morphological description of image okay then for binary image sets are members of 2d integer space okay then grayscale images are represented in sets in z cube okay so for that in grayscale uh, digital images we use the coordinates and grayscale values see if we increase the number of dimensions we could represent more clear about a uh, different attributes like color okay we can represent any color in form of uh, rgb content okay students then time varying components of uh, images uh, it can be also uh, represented so now let's see some basic concepts used in set theory okay so a is sum one set okay such that it is element of z square okay and if a is not element of z we write a is not e, not an element of the a okay see this is sign uh, of is element of okay or belongs to okay that is small a belongs to a and if it is when a cross line over it that is means a small a does not belongs to capital a okay so a state which does not have any element is called a null or empty set okay and it is denoted by sign phi okay then uh, the element of sets uh, is uh, written in two braces okay parenthesis that we can see every element of set is also element of set b then we say that a is set subset of b okay that means like uh, we consider example of earth and india okay so india is part of total earth okay so we say that india is subset of earth okay the union of two sets a and b denoted by c is equal to a union b is the subset set of all elements belonging to either a or b or both okay so students union means that it means includes all elements of a and b together without repetition okay 
then intersection of both is a intersection b is set of all elements which uh, which is belonging to a and b both okay now we will see some logical operations okay in involving binary images okay so there are different logical operations like and or not these are basic logic gates okay so let's see how we get the logical outputs if we apply uh, means this logical operations to different sets okay see students uh, if we apply this not to this signal image this digital image so we get inverted image like uh, black part is becoming white and white part is whitish part is becoming black okay and if we do and operation okay so in and operation what we get we get intersection of both okay so it was the common part so now let's see reflection and translation so reflection of uh, v is written as v cap is equal to w where w is minus p okay then translation is given as uh, c is equal to c uh, c is equal to b plus z okay where b is the reflection of set b okay so now let's see what is structuring elements okay students so set reflection and uh, set translation it is used in uh, morphological uh, operations as structuring elements okay so see this uh, different type of images uh, so its combination is given over here so this structuring element is converted to rectangular arrays okay so dots denotes structuring elements here so now we have seen uh, structuring elements okay i will uh, use its application in the for further uh, zero padding problems okay where we used to require zero padding so now we will discuss in detail about dilation okay so if we have a and b two sets in uh region z square okay so dilation of a by b is given by a a dilation b this is the sign of dilation okay where uh, b z cap intersection a is uh, not equal to empty set so this formulation is based on reflection of b about its origin and shifting at this reflection by z okay so students this is the way of representation uh, of dilation okay now we will show this uh, diagrammatically in the further slides so now we will see dilation of this example okay here we have b is equal to b cap okay because so because it has symmetry with respect to the origin okay so dilation of uh, b on uh, dilation of a by b is shown by the this fourth figure okay this is the um, uh, other uh, figure dilating function b and this is a okay so if we have dilation of a over b we get this resultant answer okay now let's see example of dilation okay application of dilation so it is simply uh, used for bridging gaps okay so see this image in this uh, below image the maximum break length is of 2 pixels okay we can use low filtering to accomplish the this task okay but we are using dilation for this purpose see this uh, in this image 
it was very light type of image okay but here we are getting more darker image okay so this is example of dilation we will see how to uh, perform matlab operation of uh, this dilation okay so students this is program of matlab dilation okay first we will take input image using im read function okay i am read broken lines dot bmp then we will first display the original image and give it title original okay so the structuring element um, means it is uh, it is declared by using the function strel okay strel uh, square comma 3 then perform the dilation using i am dilate function okay so i comma se so we perform the dilation using the structuring element okay so the output image uh, is given title dilated so see on the left side we have the original image on the right side we have the dilated image okay this is how we have obtained a dilution on matlab software okay we will perform the uh, means uh, practicals of remaining so, uh, things as well uh, in the coming session now let's see how to perform erosion okay so erosion is uh, like if we do complement of dilation okay they uh, they are set complementation and reflections of each other okay so students always remember whatever is the dilation you get make its complement that, that means uh, make the blacker portion white and whiter portion black and it is nothing but erosion okay so functionally how to represent it a dilation b whole complement is equal to a complement erosion b cap okay see this is the example of uh, means erosion like we have set a and uh, square structuring element b okay so after performing erosion we are getting this horizontal line okay was all for uh, today okay uh, like we have seen the dilation erosion then image morphological different processes okay and the essence of uh, image morphology in image processing techniques okay i hope all of you enjoyed today's session if you have any doubt you can post your query in the comment section okay so in the coming sessions we will cover different matlab programs uh, basically on uh, image processing techniques like uh, histogram equalization then uh, it would be related to image negation power uh, power law correction histogram mapping image smoothing edge detection then pseudo coloring chain coding fft dct object detection using image processing okay so all this was for today i hope all of you enjoy today's session thank you